make sure that the off-on switch of the telescope's control panel is in the off position. And plug the Autostar handbox into the port marked HBX on the computer control panel. Slide the off-on switch to the on position. The Mead copyright screen and initializing appear on the display. A message that warns you against looking directly into the sun with your telescope scrolls across the display. Press the key prompted by Autostar to acknowledge that you have read the message. The telescope then briefly tests the motors. The getting started message scrolls across the display. You don't need this feature to initialize Autostar, so press enter to move on to the next screen. Enter date displays. For example, let's say today's date is March 6, 2005, but Autostar is currently displaying another date. First you'll enter the digits for the day of the month. Use the scroll keys to scroll through the digits 1 through 9. Since the day, the 6, has only a single digit, enter 0 in the first position. In this example, 0 is already displayed in the first day position, so press the right arrow key to move to the next digit position. Press the scroll key until 6 displays. Press the right arrow key to move to the month position. Use the scroll key to page through the list of months. When MAR, March, displays, press the right arrow key to move to the first digit of the year. As the display reads 2001, the only digit that needs to be changed is the 1. Keep pressing the right arrow key until the cursor is flashing in the 1 position. Press the scroll key until 5 displays. Press enter. The date is now entered. Enter time displays. Let's say it's 11.25 at night and that Autostar is currently displaying 8 p.m. To change the time, press the scroll key until 1 displays. Press the right arrow key and the cursor moves to the next position. Press the scroll key until 1 displays again. Press the right arrow key and the cursor moves to the next position. Press the scroll key until 2 displays. Press the right arrow key again and the cursor moves to the last position. Press the scroll key until 5 displays. As PM is already displayed, the time is now entered. You can select from three choices, AM, PM, or blank. If you select the blank option, the time displays in a military format. Press Enter. Daylight Savings Displays. March 6 does not fall during Daylight Savings Time. As no is already displayed, just press Enter. The first time you use Autostar, Autostar will ask you for your observing site's location and also for the telescope model. This information will not be asked for again the next time you initialize Autostar. It's asked for only once. Keep in mind, however, that if you wish to change the observing site location information at a future date, you can do so by using the Site submenu, which is found under the Setup menu. After you've entered yes or no in the Daylight Savings menu, Country State displays. Use the scroll key to page through a list of countries, states, and provinces. Let's say the observing location is San Diego, California. As California displays first, press Enter. Nearest city displays. Use the scroll keys to page through the list of cities. If your observing site doesn't display, choose the city on the list that's closest to your site. You need to be at least within 100 miles of the city that you choose. Once the city displays, press Enter. Telescope model displays. Autostar operates with several different telescope models, so you need to select your model number. Use the scroll key to page through the list of telescope models. When your model number displays, press Enter. 